1,000%. One, this one hurt my heart so much. Um, and, uh, I mean, we only had three possessions, I think, in the second half. Um, you know, got points on two of them. The third one, we should, I, I felt we should still be on the field. Uh, uh, but we're not. And, uh, you know, this one hurt. And I'm just not, that, that, that's all I can say. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I know there's two there that he wants back, two or three of them. Um, but you guys, you guys know me when Tyrell's been in there, um, and when we had Coop and Crab rolling. I don't care if they drop the ball, whatever. They're going to get the, they're going to get their chances, you know. Um, if we don't connect, if I miss a throw, the ball's still coming with confidence, you know. Um, and so whenever teams want to single him up and say, all right, make him beat us, or that guy is, you know. Uh, you know, over my career, I mean, no matter who's guarding them, we're going to take that chance. So Tyrell did a great job, um, and there's probably two or three I could have maybe thrown a better ball for him uh, that we could have back. Rod has been such an anchor here for years. What, what was your reaction when you first uh, went down there to go out, and then how do you feel like Andre did? Yeah, well, any time, any teammate that goes down, you hurt, but especially especially someone you're really close with, you know. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's more as a brother than... The first thing I asked him, I said, how's, how's Amber, you know, did you call your wife, you know, make sure she's okay, you know, um, because sometimes we can forget those things as players, um, we're more concerned about, uh, trying to get back on the field or something like that. So, um, you know, I made sure that she was all right and, uh, it hurts your heart, but I thought Andre did a great job. I thought against a really good front, um, they got a really good, uh, nose tackle also. And I thought Andre competed his tail off. Uh, made some great calls. Um, I didn't have to override any of them. He was on it, you know. You know, I'd ask him, you know, I'd check for the point, check what, what decisions he was making, and he was right on almost every time. So uh, he did a great job. He did a really, really great job. The five being over now to go home and three or four, four, five at home. Yeah. You still, at this point, you still feel like you're being in front, that there is that, that you make the Oh, absolutely. It, and it, it is, you know, let's be honest. It really is, especially in this league, right? Um, you know, we're for sure, no one's, no one's hanging their head. You know, we're disappointed. It hurts. First time coming back to Houston, I wanted to win this, you know, for more reasons than one, you know. Uh, had a lot of friends here at the game, you know, want to play good and win in front, of, in front of them and beat their team, you know, because um, it's not my team anymore <laughs> as much as it was. Um, but everything's still in front of us. And... We don't really have a lot of control over a lot of things, but we can control how we prepare and try and win these football games. That first half, there were no targets for, for Tyrell. I mean, it was three in a row second half. You guys yeah. see something, or you guys were some adjustment you guys made? Yeah, and it's an adjustment whenever, um, you know, if you think about all the games that he missed and the practice time he missed, it's an adjustment when someone comes back in the huddle. Like, when seams are putting certain coverages, I'm used to going to Waller, or I'm used to Renfro. I'm like, oh, hey, Tyrell's here too. You know, it, it, it is an adjustment. You know, uh, and then we saw it. We're like, hey, man, we gotta, we gotta get him the ball. You know, and you know, going back and looking at the pictures, uh, you know, there was one I threw to Trevor on a go route. He stumbled. I mean, if he doesn't stumble, he catches it, and it's big play. But you look at the other side, Tyrell's there, and you're like, oh man, that's a good matchup too. You know, so uh, you know, you replay those, and then you get in the second half, and hey, this is what we're all seeing. You come out and just try and get him some touches, uh, especially with how much of a dynamic playmaker he is. Absolutely, and I think uh, we did a good job of going after some of those openings. You know, um, you know when uh, you know we only had a couple possessions in the second half, so it didn't. You know, we didn't get to attack them as much as we wanted to. But when we had the chances, we took you know full of those opportunities. Um, and I'll say this too, um, to close that I just I love this city. Um, I love these fans. You know, they were always good to me. They were good to my brother sometimes. Uh, when he was standing up, um, and uh, you know, I, I have nothing but love for Houston, um, and I just wanted that to be known because our family really loves this place. When you're watching Watson on uh, last drive, I'm sure you're watching him. What's going yeah. through your mind? What, what, I mean, some of the plays he makes, and what do you see as? I mean, yeah, there was. Uh, they kept running that same little bootleg, 
RPO kind of thing, little deal. And uh, just sitting there, just please stop him, you know, <laughs> you know, please stop this man. And uh, he's a great player. Uh, you know, he's the leader of their team. You can tell. Um, you know, and he he just he, you know, he just beats people. You know, in different ways. You know, he's really good at that. Um, you know, it's funny today. Like he, we were laughing because he'll make a scramble play and throw it, and then I. I was able to make a scramble play and throw one. We started laughing. You know, I was like, yes, there we go. You know, we're matching them for the scrambles, you know. Um, but he's a great player. Um, I have the utmost respect for him. I hope he's okay. Looks like he'll be all right, but uh, utmost respect. Wish him the best, um, you know, going forward. Jim Moore. Going against Conley so soon after he was your teammate, what was the experience? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's ever happened, right? Like, that was crazy. Um, you know, the, for someone to go somewhere else and play their team, I, you'd have to look that one up for me, but um, you know, I know a lot of about him. You know, always, obviously, we've competed a lot in practice, uh, and I, I, that's my brother. I love, I love Gary Owen. I think he's a really good player. Um, you know, I think uh, you know he's going to do really well here. They're going to once they get uh, healthy and all that, they're, they'll be rolling and be just fine. So I think at them adding Gary Owen's a really good piece for them. I'm going to miss him. Uh, uh, you know, and that's our brother. You know, it's. Never fun seeing those guys leave. Last one. How would you summarize this last five road games, this whole, this whole stretch? Tiring. Um, you know, and I, I, do, I try and do a really good job of nutrition, sleep, all that kind of stuff, um, taking care of my body and all that kind of stuff. But those miles add up, man. You know, it, 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 you know, you hate to, you know, I'm glad that I feel I'm done with it. You know, that's for sure. Um, but there's no excuse. Like come game time, we felt great. You know, I felt fine. Um, but like after a while, you're like, another trip, like another Friday, we have to leave. Like, kind of want to take my wife on a date, if I'm being honest, you know. So, uh, you know, I think being able to be at home, sleep in our bed, uh, extra night or two is going to be really good for our team.